Hello? Can you guys hear me? Oh, you guys can hear my <laughs> everything. <gasps> Class will start. Hello, you guys. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Where is my chat box? Hi, you guys. <laughs> Wait a sec. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, you guys. Hold on. Ooh, I am never going to get good at this. Okay. Uh, Okay, let's try this one more time. Oh, okay, I do like this. Hi! There we go. There we go, there we go. <laughs> hello, hello. You love my earrings. Thank you so much. You're so kind to say so. Hello, so. 안녕하세요, and you're really pretty today. Aw, you know why? Because it's our last week of our 10 week Korean challenge. Oh, oh, oh I will miss you guys. <laughs> Happy 10 week, exactly, exactly. You look extra pretty, teach. Oh, you look extra pretty. Oh, you guys are so nice and sweet to say so. I dressed up. I had nothing today. I, I had some exams that I had to take as well. Yeah, I had some exams that I had to take as well. And then I made exams for you guys for today. So today I was home all day, but I decided to take a shower and do my makeup and put on earrings and put on this like dress just for you guys, okay? This is true love. <laughs> this is true love, okay? <laughs> true love, true love. Hannah, Hannah said, I think you are always pretty. Aww. Komao. <laughs> Komao, Komao. Jenny Sam, Jenny, your teeth is awesome. Aww, thank you. You like my. <laughs> Annyeong. Annyeong. <laughs> Hey, but I won't go away. I am going to keep on making and uploading uh, YouTube, on YouTube like the K-pop classes. It's ready for you. And the K-drama classes, I need some suggestions on which drama to do. So yeah, there's a lot. You'll see a lot of me. <laughs> annyeong, annyeong. You're a newbie here. Oh, today's our last class. You just joined us at the last class. How? Oh, but you'll still have fun. You will have fun because others will be taking an, an exam and then you can just watch them take an exam. <laughs> K-pop class, please. Okay. Definitely. I'm thinking about, no, I'm not thinking. I, I, I am making the K-pop Korean classes. How about some saturi? Saturi is like Korean dialect. <gasps> Teacher Jenny is pretty and does not age at all since I saw her back in 2017. Amazing! <laughs> it's just a lot of makeup, you guys. <laughs> you want to join my private class? Okay, I will give a notice about my private class at the end of class because we have a lot of things to do. And yes, how many students are in class? I need to take take attendance and then let's start with class so there are 82 students okay 20 students decided not to come this week <laughs> i hope it's not because that today is exam week <laughs> 85 people okay i got that 85 people i'm watching you jenny is watching you <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, so you guys, 
I want to say, I want to say, you guys made it to 10 week Korean challenge with me. A lot of you guys, you guys did not know anything about Korean. Do you guys did not know the Korean consonant? You guys did not know the Korean vowel, but through the 10 week Korean challenge, you learned the Korean consonants and Korean vowels and the Korean rules and you learned Korean words and you're now able to read and write and speak Korean. So, so extra, extra, extra claps for you. And today is the last week of our 10 week Korean challenge. And there is a huddle, there is an obstacle for you to finish. And that's called a test, my dear. <laughs> Damn. Good job, everybody. Good job. I am new here. I'm glad I found you. Well, Karma, welcome to class. But I have to notice that it is the last week of the Korean class. And uh, today will be test week. So you can watch other people. You can watch other people take tests. <laughs> I really improved reading Korean. That's so nice. Good job. Good job. Okay. So as I told you, as I told you, Today is going to be exam test week, so let's talk after uh, the test and let's see. 잘하고 있어, 잘하고 있어. Good job. I, I will pass with flying colors. Okay, so did everybody, did everybody prepare, uh, everybody prepare for the test? Did, I, did everybody? <laughs> Did everybody prepare for the test? There are going to be 10 questions and in those 10 questions, uh, there are listening questions and there are writing questions. So if you don't have a pen near you, bring a pen and a pe pe pen and a note. Bring a pen and a note because there will be a writing test as well. Already? Already? Good luck. Good luck. You guys prepared so hard, Miss Miss uh, K H N Kan. Good job. Good job. Okay. Okay. Let's move on. So, welcome to Korean Achievement Test. I prepared like twenty four pages of this test just for you guys so you guys need to commit to this class and really focus and try to make the best out of it okay you can you guys can all do this you guys can do this i have a pen and paper ready with me so let's go first so i want you to try to read this it's called she hum she hum i'm not going to go too deep on why it's she hum because everybody knows how to read it and you just know you just don't know the meaning. The meaning of shihom is test, test. Shihom test. So today we're going to have a shihom, a test, right? So it is Korean achievement test and Irim. Irim is your name. So if you're going to capture it, write down your name over here, and that's me. <laughs> that this is me over here. And Narja. Narja. This is a double consonant. This is the date. So right now you would write down the date of today, 2020 in September. Oh my God. It's September of year 2020. Oh my God. I need a refund of year 2020. Goodness. It's September. Oh my God. I'm still in shock. <laughs> so, okay. So. 날짜, 이름, 이름 is name, and 날짜 is date. So, everybody who wrote down your name and date of today, I think you guys are all ready, and let's begin the Korean achievement test. Let's see how much Korean you have learned. You guys can do it. I believe in you. Fighting! Fighting! Good job! Fighting! 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 Let's go. Okay. <laughs> so this is just this is a very important question about our our class. 
<laughs> but no, this is just like a, uh, just a, the 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 what Bra brain breaker? No, what no, icebreaker? No, no. I anyway, it's it's just a quiz, <laughs> uh, icebreaker quiz for the test. <laughs> Who knows this answer? Okay, if you are. If somebody knows this answer, you are a true fan of me and I will love you forever. <gasps> no, oh, Namatra, you got it right. <gasps> Namatra, you, you are, I think you're the first one to say it. <laughs> when did Jenny Korean class, when did Jenny Korean class week one start? <laughs> It was uh, the 21st of June and it is now September so good job you guys for like three months you have been studying Korean and I believe that you guys really um, achieved in like learning Korean. <laughs> Killing question for me. <laughs> Yeah, 10 weeks ago, but there are like a couple of like two week break for, for my like personal reasons. So yeah <laughs> Okay, okay, so let's Really start <laughs> So that was a, that was just like a fun question for you to start the game what not game the test and let's start I know so 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 fast so fast. Let's go Number one, it's test time. Test time. Focus. So let me read it. Number one. Why did Sejongdaewang make Korean alphabet? It's easy at first, but it will get harder. Trust me. Why did Sejongdaewang I want you to read it with me. Now you know how to read Korean. Don't don't ask for answers. You need to read it yourself. Se chung te wang. Make Korean alphabet. Good job. Number one, to make money, cha ching, cha ching. Number two, because he loved his people. Number three, to become popular. Da -da -da -da, popular. To number four to show off. So why did Sejong Deong make the Korean alphabet? Oh, I am seeing the answers. I'm seeing answers, and with no doubt, ching. With no doubt, it's because he loved his people, and I told you many many reasons about about how much he loved the people and one reason is that at that time the Joseon dynasty uh, we used to use the character of the Chinese characters so imagine you living in Korea or living in your nation living in your country and have to have to use another other other countries like character it, it must be so hard and especially for those um low level low class people it was extremely difficult to learn the chinese characters so the king sejo wanted the citizens wanted the people to be able to read and write so king sejo said well the Chinese character is too hard for my people, so I need to make a new language, I need to make a new alphabet, and that's why he created Chaum and Moon. Yes, he always loved his, his people, and like one of the other reasons that he needed to make, he wanted to make a language was because he wanted to communicate with his people, and you can't communicate if you don't know how to write or read or how to yeah yeah like the people can't come and meet the king every single day so they like wrote letters but if you don't know the character you can't write the letter so king sejong really loved his people so that's why he made the korean hunger to 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 make to communicate better with his people so good job so good job so like this the, it's going to be a very it's not going to be easy, but number one question was easy for you, okay? As pe he wanted his people to be independent and know their own language and know how to read and write. <laughs> okay, let's move on to never, uh, what? Let's move on to number two.
Number two. Okay, so King Sejong made Hangul, right? So choose the correct spelling of Korean alphabet. Is it number one or number two or number three or number four? Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Hello, hello. So, number two. Good job, good job. Number two, exactly, exactly. Oh, very nice, very nice. Oh, you guys are doing a very good job. You guys are, maybe it's too easy. I needed, I needed to make more hard questions. <laughs> good job, good job, exactly. So, the correct spelling of the Korean alphabet was number four. Han, kul. Han, kul. And who can tell me the consonant and vowel? Who can tell me what the consonant and vowel was in Korean? Can you guys tell me the consonant and vowel in Korean? Hangul. 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 It had the h, h, and the a ah vowel, and the final consonant, ng, ng, and han. And g and u and ul so kul han kul. So the consonant and vowel was chaum boom. Chaum consonant and boom. Exactly. Good job. Vowel. <laughs> Good job. So we learned the hangul, the Korean alphabet, and in hangul we learn the Korean consonant chaum and the Korean vowel moum. Good job, good job, good job. You're taking class while cooking. Oh no. <laughs> okay, good job, good job. Let's move on. Let's move on. Let's move on. So, number three, you guys are all doing a great job. I want you to finish the test, okay? I want you to finish the test. Number three. Now then, choose the correct spelling of the final consonant. Choose the correct spelling of the final consonant. Which one? Is it number one? Or is it number two? Is it number three? Or is it number four? It looks awfully similar. <laughs> It looks awfully, awfully similar. But if you prepared for the class and if you have learned Korean for 10 weeks with me, you will know the answer. What is the answer? Which one is it? Which one is it? It looks awfully similar. I know, I know. It looks really similar. But is it number one? Number two? Number three? Number four? Let me pronounce it for you. Pat. Chim. Pat chim. Pat chim. Good job. Good job. Good job. So, number three, huh? You guys think it's number three? Pat chim. Pat chim. Pat chim. Pat chim. Good job. So, the answer was pat chim. Pat chim. Good job. The answer was pat chim number three. And in class, we learn the seven rules of the final consonant. And just to remind you, we learned about this and I won't go over every single one of them. But if you don't remember, uh, watch the class again and please review it because it is essential for you to read Korean. So just for example, all these three make the same final consonant sound and this makes this sound and all these consonants, when they come the final consonant, it only makes this sound. And like this, like that. Patim, patim. Good job, good job. Doing good. Everybody 
everybody doing great how is it so far easy comment comment give me comments write down comments i'm watching you i'm watching you you have to write and think and then comment <laughs> at the same time how is it how is it it's, it's all it's easy it's very easy right you everybody got it right it was pretty easy very easy easy good too easy okay i get your challenge let's move on to the next question so far so good easy 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 so far it was okay for me okay i'm seeing a lot of good good uh <laughs> easy not bad not bad okay okay let's move on to the next one number four so number four as you can see right here it is a listening question okay it is a listening question so i will speak a word and you have to listen and choose the correct word okay this is a listening question so you have to listen and then choose the correct word okay you guys ready ready it's going to be easy you guys learned really really a lot of korean you guys were you guys did such a good job that you guys did such a good job so it'll be very easy okay pick the word hyo 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 which one was it which one was it we have 10 questions Oh, ah. <laughs> we have 10 questions. Which one was it? Hyo. 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 <gasps> oh, it's so easy. Oh, you guys are doing a great job. I'm so proud of you. Seriously, you guys are so you guys are you guys can read Korean. Isn't that crazy? 10 weeks ago, 10 weeks before you didn't know how to read Korean and look at you guys you guys can listen and then pick and read Korean it's amazing good job I love you too Roma <laughs> good job the answer was hyo. Hyo, hyo, hyo. Hyo, hyo, hyo. exactly so so the hyo meaning was tongue tongue the meaning was hyo, tongue and then the second one let's pronounce it together cha cha Cha, cha. It had the ch ch sound and the ah sound. I'm going over basic Korean consonants and vowels. So cha means a car. Cha means a car, and it could be a T, like a green T and T in general. And number three, it's ku, 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 because it had the k k k consonant and the o vowel, so it made ku, and it means ku, ku 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 ku. Ku, 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 ku. It means the nose, and the g g g consonant and the a consonant, which made k. And warf 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 warf. Look at the doggy, doggy. So hyo cha ku ge, hyo cha ku ge. Those are like the basic words that we learned in like week one or two. I went over all the class materials that we learned and. We learned a lot of words, so it was hard to pick which words to use. Good job. Everybody remember all those words, right? What's like hyo cha ku ke hyo tang cha car ku ku nose and then ke far far ke ke Did I make a good dog sound? Far 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 so everybody got it right doing great great doing great 
Yes, teacher. Doing great. So do you, do you guys like the listening questions? Because we have one more. We have one more listening question. Let's go. We have one more listening question. Let's go. Okay. Now it is a listening question again. So listen, listen. You have to use all your senses when you're learning a language. You have to see, read, and then write with your hand and listen and everything. So another listening question. Let's go. Listen and choose the correct word. Listen and choose the correct word. Focus. I want you to focus. 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 집중. 오리. 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 Which one is it? 오리. Is it number one? 오리. Is it number two? 오리. Is it number three? 오리. Is it number four? Which one is it? 오리. 오리. Odi. Good job. Good job. Sambon. And people are right. Ooh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for shaking the desk. I'm sorry. Odi. Odi. Good job. Now, who can tell me the meaning of it? I forgot to ask you before. Who can tell me the meaning of Odi? Good job. Good job. FJ. Reyes. Duck. It means duck. Uh, it means we as well. Yeah, it, it has two meanings depending on which sentence, like on the context you're using. It can mean duck and it can mean uri as us, we. You're correct as well. Duck. But in class, we learned as duck, so I will accept both answers. It means duck and we. It has two meanings with the same word. There, there is two meanings, which is one duck, great, great duck, and then number two, us. As and in order to know which meaning it is, you always have to know the context when you're speaking something, when you're reading something. It's really important to understand the context and know what it means. Okay, good job. Okay, then I have a few more questions. How do you read this and what does this mean? So I want to ask you some more. How do you read this and what does this mean? Good job, good job, good job. I see that you guys really prepared for the test. I'm really happy to see that you guys can really respond to my questions. So this one is AI, 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 and it means a child. Good job, it means a child, child. And then what about number two? Number two, read number two as well. What about number two? And tell me the meaning as well. Let's see how much you prepared. What about what what about how do you read it? How do you read it? How do you read number two? <gasps> Good job, but the matra Ooi 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 and it means cucumber exactly doing a great job it means cucumber Number two means cucumber. O e o e. Do you guys like cucumber? I love it. I love cucumber with the gochujang, the Korean spicy paste, and then I dip it and it's so good. O e o e o e. Good job. And then number three was the answer ori, which was duck, and then we. And number four, number four, agi, agi, agi. A ki agi means baby. So the number, the answer for number five was number three, ori, 
and like this, ai is a child, and oi is a cucumber, and ori was a duck, and aki was a baby. Good job! 잘하고 있어, 잘하고 있어. You guys are doing a good job. 잘. You guys are doing a great job. We're almost halfway through. Let's finish these five questions and then let's finish our week 10 Korean challenge. Oh, good job, good job. Auto correct spelling? <laughs> I get all oh, that that baby emoti emoticon is so cute. Nu Nurita Karmic. That baby emoticon is really cute. Okay, let's move on. Now for number five. Number five, it's a it's an easy question as well. Choose the correct word for rabbit. So here the rabbit is, and it's like, oh hey. Hey fellas, how do you call me in Korean? <laughs> I heard that you guys learned Korean for 10 weeks with Jenny. You better know how to say rabbit in Korean. <laughs> so how do you call me? What, how do you call rabbit in Korean? It looks awfully similar. I made all the uh, numbers look awfully similar. Which one is it? Which one is it? <gasps> Oh, what, is it easy? What, what, is this too easy for you guys? So you guys are doing a... Oh, is it too easy? Who's your teacher? Who taught you so well? Who taught you this well? Where <laughs> you where did you learn your Korean? You're doing an amazing job. Huh? Who is your teacher? Oh my gosh, she's amazing. <laughs> you guys are doing a great job. Who, who was your teacher? Mm, great teacher. <laughs> uh, I love how you guys... <laughs> Ah, uh, 진짜 웃긴다. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> uh, I'll make an error on this. <laughs> I love, I love how you guys respond to my not fun jokes. Jenny, Jenny, Miss Jenny, Jenny, <laughs> no other than Teacher Jenny, <laughs> 선생님 Jenny, <laughs> from from 대박 Teacher Jenny. Oh, okay. <laughs> I love how you guys respond. <laughs> okay, I had enough. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys are the best. <laughs> uh, a a great teacher, Jenny G T J. <laughs> Too big arrow, I know. <laughs> okay, let's move on. So the number number six number six answer was Toki Toki. Toki, toki. It was number two. Toki, toki. But one thing that I want to teach you another Korean word, and even though it is an exam, I want to teach you more because there's so much things that I want to teach you. And one of them is Korean vocabularies. It's always nice to know more words. And number one, num number, number one, it's toki, toki. It's different. The first consonant is different. This consonant had the t t t sound, and this consonant had the d d d sound. So, toki. When you say toki, it means an axe. Okay, it means like the axe, the wood cutting axe, the wood cutting axe. It means axe. So, so you have to be careful when you say, oh, well, if somebody. Somebody asks you, oh, which which animal do you like? And you say, and you say, Toki. And <laughs> that means you like the axe. And they'll be like, oh, you killer. Oh my god. You like the axe. Okay. <laughs> so just like this, uh, you have to uh, 
improve your vocab skills as well while you're learning a language. So yes. 도끼. Exactly, the consonant <laughs> the consonant t and t. The consonant t and t. Exactly. Good job. Good job. So you you need to know this word in order to prevent you from saying I like the axe. I am a killer. <laughs> I kill woods. <laughs> so it's a it's a good word for you to know. Toki toki. Toki. It, it means to spit. Toki, okay, okay, okay. I, I'm not spitting. I'm not spitting. <laughs> nice demonstration of cutting trees. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's move on. Okay, okay, let's move on. Now, you guys, I told you how to bring a pen, right? And bring a paper as well, because you can see that it is a writing test. It is a writing test. See the pencil? Get a pencil. And these are all the words that we learned in class, so it's not a new word. I want you to write it. I want you to write it. Write the Korean word, doctor. Not takto, don't write it like that. I want you to write the Korean word doctor. Oh, good job. I am seeing answers already. Jen, good job. If you are from next class, oh, well, today's the last class, but from our next semester, please uh, add a Korean typing on your phone or on your computer so you can type in Korean as well. So it'll be amazing. 박사님 아니야. 박사님 뭐야? 박사님 뭐야? 박사... Are you guys Googling it? <laughs> I did not tell you, I did not teach you any of these, but somehow you guys know it. <laughs> Are you guys Googling the answer? You better not be cheating on this exam, okay? <laughs> what is the word that I taught you in class? If you have participated in class from week 1 to 10, which word did I teach you as a doctor? Good job. It's 의사, 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 의사. You watch 의사, you want 의사. Good job, good job, good job. So how do you write it? It's 의사. You remember, you remember this? Do you remember the time when we were a newbie and I made the words uh, differentiate? by doing the green as the consonant and the and the the vowel as the orange yellow do you guys remember when we were babies in korean agi oh do you guys remember the time when we were agi in the korean i separated the consonant and vowels for you guys because we were such babies and such newbies we were so so cute newbies at first so this is why i divided the colors for the consonant charm and the vowel moon <laughs> oh we were so cute to newbies oh we were agita right but look at us now we can read it without those color differences and mare <sighs> boy you guys are doing amazing you guys learned so much we you guys are still babies okay don't don't you worry cuz mama Jenny okay <laughs> I have an awfully lot of babies <laughs> mama Jenny will feed you and grow you and grow you until you become a I a child <laughs> in your Korean language uh, <laughs> how do you say nurse it's Kanosa so good job. Number two, num uh, what? Number seven was 의사, 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 의사. So I hope you got it right. <laughs> 105 babies. <laughs> I have an awfully lot of babies. Ah, I don't think I need, I don't need any more babies in my life. <laughs> 어머니. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh, 
Mother. <laughs> Mother. Mother. <laughs> My mother. <laughs> What's the difference between Paksanim and Uisa? Paksanim is like more of a professor. And Uisa is like a doctor. <laughs> Omma. <laughs> Omma. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, before I make more before I have more babies. <laughs> let's move on to number 10. Oh, what? Oh my god. You guys Oh, you guys made me panic. Okay, number eight. Mother Jenny of Korean, okay. <laughs> like Queen Daenerys. Number eight. Number eight, number eight. <laughs> number eight. Okay, like this, it is another writing class as well. And write the Korean... Write the Korean word for kitchen. Write the Korean word for kitchen. How do you write kitchen? It's it's hard. It's getting hard. But we all learned this in class, so write it. So like paksa is like a doctor's degree, I guess. But like for the job and for the exact thing you would put like Lisa. okay that's what it says i just wanted to be more sure about your question so it says paksa is a doctor's degree degree of doctor phd and yeah like a professor and Lisa is just like the job doctor <gasps> good job 잘하고 있어 잘하고 있어 잘하고 있어 부엌 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 new subscriber here hi 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 i see you i see you <laughs> welcome to class but today is our last week of our 10 week challenge and everybody else is having a uh, exam so have fun watching other taking exams you're off the test 부엌 Pu-ok. It's not pu-ok. It's not pu-ok, but it's pu-ok. 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 Hannah, try again, try again. Pu-ok. Good job. Yongoni, Blackpink, Blackpink forever. Good job. Javier, try again. Pu-ok. Pu-ok. Good job. Wow, Korea. Wow, Korea. Wow, Korea. Wow. <laughs> You forgot the patsim. Okay, it's okay. Write the Korean word for kitchen. The answer was poo ok 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 poo ok. The patsim was ok poo ok poo ok poo ok. Good job. <gasps> Newbie here too. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. You guys, it's okay. All the classes are, are unloaded on YouTube, and I won't take them down. So it's it's for free. You can watch it anytime you want. Pu ok. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Pu ok. Pu ok. Pu ok. Good job. Good job. Let's move on. Ready for question nine? <clears throat> Everybody ready for question nine? <laughs> Did you guys see me in Chunki's vlog or I don't know which vlog is it my vlog? It's okay if you got it wrong you can practice again practice makes perfect everybody else everybody has their own pace so don't you worry if you get it wrong this time you you'll get it right next time you're learning a new language. You can get something right. You can get something wrong. It's okay. Don't be too harsh on yourself, okay? It's just it's just good enough that you're trying to learn a new language and you're up for the exam and you're in class right now. That's all that matters. So don't don't try to to be too harsh on it, okay? So number 9, let's go. Okay, so it's getting harder and we only have two more questions left. So let's do this. Choose the false pronunciation. We learned about this, right? Where did my arrow go? 
I lost my arrow. Oh, I found it. Oh my god, it's too big. Okay, oh my god, I'm sorry. <laughs> so choose the false pronunciation. If you were in class of our 10 week Korean challenge, you will know what this rule means and you will know what this question is trying to ask you, okay? If you, this we, uh, we learned this on week seven and eight, it was between that and then we learned about this rule and we learned about it, right? Good job, good job, everybody. Everybody who said number four, you got it right. What rule was it? Tell me what rule it was as well. Can anybody tell me what rule it was? What rule? Tell me. Tell me. <laughs> Good job. You guys are all getting it right. Number four. The, 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 the answer was number four, but what rule was it? I want you, I want you to say it. This was an exception, okay? Exception of what? Exception of what? Exception of what rule? Exception of what rule? I'm sorry, was it was it was it too fast? No, no. <gasps> no, you're it, it's close. It's close. It's close. The rule for yonim. Yonim. Do you guys all remember yonim? The rule when uh the final after the final consonant and there it starts with a uh, vowel. Let me repeat myself. When there is a final consonant and the following syllable starts with the vowel, which means it doesn't have a consonant, which also means it has the consonant yung, the placeholder, then that case most pachi, most consonants move up to this placeholder and say, hey, get out, out, I'm gonna take your place. But there is an exception where the he consonant when this consonant becomes the patim the rule does not follow and rather it is eliminated it is talak yon um yon um yon um good job yon um so only when you pronounce it in when you write it you have to say chuayo but when you pronounce it it's not chu ha yo it's rather chu a yo it was the rule linking or I'm not really sure of the correct uh, English but uh, other said it linking and other said it a uh, different words but I will just say the Korean rule name yon um yon um yon um yon um good job good job good job last question Chuayo, chuayo. Last question. Oh, oh my god, it's already 10 10 50. Oh my god, let's let's finish class. Last question. I am having mixed feelings. Okay, but anyway, I am I am having mixed feelings, but okay. Are you guys ready for the final question? <laughs> what do you mean no? It's okay if you got it wrong twice. Hey, I will say it. I will say that it will. It is okay if you get it ten times wrong. Okay, come on. It's okay. <laughs> Don't worry. You're learning a new language for goodness sake. You're doing an amazing job. Don't you worry. Last question. Last question. Let's go. So for the last question, for the last question, I really want you to challenge yourself and try to listen and write 
a new Korean word. I did not teach this word in class, so this is going to be a legit challenge for you guys because I did not teach this in class, but really here I want you to listen to the Korean word and write it as well. Okay, so listen and write the following. It's going to be hard. It's going to be hard, but I really want you to challenge yourself. And I will, I will say this beforehand. If you get it wrong, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. You guys are doing a great job. So don't you worry. And let's try to. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? What? What? Already? Already? Okay. Listen and write. Listen and write. Listen. I will try. That is a positive. I will try, Odioso. I will try. Exactly. Try, you guys. Try. 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 Listen and write. Listen and write. She hum. 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 <gasps> she hum. Okay, for those who who is having a trouble, who is having a hard time, s e h a um. <gasps> Good job. A lot of you guys are getting it right. She hum. She hum. Good job, she hum, she hum, she hum. <gasps> oh, 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 no, 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 no double, no double. She hum, not a uh, um, oh, oh, not ch, not ch, she hum, she hum. <gasps> Good job, and if you wrote it like this, it's she hum, and it means test, <laughs> right here. <gasps> you got it right? You got it right. Who got it right? Oh my god, I got it right. Go girl, you go girl. Woohoo! Mimi J got it. Good job. Mimi J, you got it. I knew you would get it, girl. Good job. <laughs> she hum. She hum. She hum means test. No, what are you talking? What? Are you she hum means test. Te test. So it was a. It was. <laughs> it was. Uh, it was so close. Good job, good job. So it was like uh like a hmm it was like a last minute no it was not last minute but I just wanted to test you guys and just it was here all along, right? It was here all along here 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 It was there in front of us all along but I wanted to test you guys. She home. Xiao means test. Xiao means test. <gasps> you really got it too. Javier, good job. That was a nice trick. You guys liked it. She hum, she hum. <gasps> 10 out of 10. Joanna, good job. Good job. More, more. Well, unfortunately, this was the end of our Korean exam. <laughs> Very tricky, right? But Michelle, you gotta give it to me. I gave you the answer all the time, all, all along, right? Good teacher, Jenny. <laughs> sneaky, sneaky, Jenny. Oh, that's why it was familiar, but I forgot the spelling. I got it. <laughs> and Jen got it first. Good job. Thank you for the class. <laughs> you got one correct. Chris, good job. You got one correct. It's better than getting zero. 
Good job. Good job. You did a great chest. Nine out of ten. Wow, you got it almost all right. That's amazing. Classmates, congrats. Oh, what a nice classmate. Oh, you guys, we have a we have a really nice classmate. I love this community because we are always supporting each other and oh, classmates, congrats. Good job. <gasps> 잘 가르쳐 주셔서 감, 주셔서 감사합니다. 감사합니다. Good job. 시험, 시험. Thank you so much. Okay, so so that was that. So that was that, you guys. Oh, I need some water. <coughs> Sorry. Okay. <coughs> oh, you will study every day, Javier. I will. I will see if you study. Good job. Congrats, everybody. Congrats to everybody. You guys did a great job. Okay, so this was our final week of our Korean class. And again, I always tell myself, Jenny, make it quick. Do not be over. Do not do the class over 15 minutes. But every single time, I think I do it for an hour. <laughs> and that's why my voice gets lost <laughs> but you guys I really it was a very nice journey for me and I hope it was a nice journey for you as well I started this 10 week Korean challenge for us both to be motivated uh, when you are starting something and when you think that oh, there is no end to something that's when you kind of lose the momentum and you stop from doing what you do but i wanted to do this 10 week korean challenge to motivate you to finish and accomplish the 10 week of learning korean and if you completed the 10 week korean challenge i believe that you can do anything else as well because you already have an experience of accomplishing something so uh, yes, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, this 10 week on YouTube was a very new experience for me. Everything this is new, the program is new, so and the microphone and all this webcam and all this class materials that I made personally by myself was a challenge for me, but I'm proud of myself for coming through this 10 week and making all these class materials and I am proud of you for doing the 10 week Korean challenge. So yes, so there will be a break for the live Korean classes. Come on, I need some break, okay? <laughs> and like all schools, there are summer summer breaks. So let's say that this is a summer break. Summer break. Notice. Notice uh, there will be a summer break. I did not decide how much for the break, but I need time to make the next class materials and may make the next semester's, let's say semester, okay? Make the next semester curriculum as well. So it takes time and, but in the meanwhile, in the meanwhile, I will upload K-pop Korean class k-pop and k-drama korean k-drama and in the meanwhile of our summer break i will unload k-pop and k-drama korean classes so uh, please subscribe and please set up the alert button and really I told you before but I am really not good at SNS and not good at uh, promoting myself I am really I like teaching I guess that's what I'm good at and that's when I am happy <laughs> so please I will bake the classes I will prepare for the classes and I will teach you Korean so please you guys uh, please promote me and help me and support me by making my channel, making our channel, our Jenny the Live channel grow. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Will it be K-pop? No, I don't think it will be live. I don't know. Hmm. 
<laughs> maybe but definitely there will be uh the there it will be a video and then i'll think about the live I have never been excited for an upcoming semester. Okay, and the second notice is that our oh, class will finish very soon. I have, oh, there, there has to be stamp time, so don't go anywhere. There will be a last um, notice. Uh, oh my god, stop it. And for the second notice is that uh, I am going to start a private Korean class like tutoring. So if you want to learn Korean privately as a tutor, I am only thinking 10 students and I am only thinking five students in one class. So if you're interested about that, my private Korean tutor classes, I'll wait for the notices. I have not decided anything yet, so it is still preparing. And it doesn't mean that all these Korean classes will disappear. Every single Korean class will be still uploaded. And there's so many classes that I did on Facebook and YouTube as well. So check those things out and I hope you finish your Korean class journey. <clears throat> K-pop class for summer break, exactly. K-pop, K-pop class for summer break. Exactly, exactly. K-pop classes for summer break. So for those private tutor classes, it will be only 10 people. So please keep that in mind. And yes, yeah, the private classes, it will be, it will, it will have a class fee, but don't you worry, just because that has a class fee, it doesn't mean that this has a class fee. This, these classes are all free for you guys. So don't you worry. There are so many classes that I did on the YouTube and I will not take them down. They will be there forever for you to review. Okay, so you guys did a good job. You guys did a good job. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. And you know what's next. Ta-da! You guys did it. You guys did it. I'm going to put this on Instagram as well. You guys did it! <laughs> you guys, you guys did it! Our 10 week Korean challenge. Ah, cool thing is so good job, you guys! Let's see, let's see the comment. Yay! Yay! So this will be the last of our stamp and I have something prepared for you guys so don't go anywhere but this will be the last stamp. This will be the last stamp. Good job exactly. Ah, oh, yay, yay. <laughs> And I prepared something else for you. Ta-da! Ta-da! So this is something that I prepared for you. Uh, and this is a certificate of completion. This certificate recognizes, put your name here. And I want to read this out for everybody here. So this person, you guys, you guys fully completed the 10 week Korean challenge. Regardless of all the circumstances in year 2020, this person decided to study Korean with Jenny. I give the certificate proudly and highly encouraged to keep on the Korean learning journey. Sincerely, Jenny Lee E. Won Kyung by Jenny the Life. <laughs> Do you guys like it? <laughs> Do you guys like the certificate? <laughs> I hope you guys like the certificate. You guys did a great job. Can I ask?
no problem. So, for the last time, everyone type the hat emoji. Let's do it, let's do it. For the last time, let's do it. You like it so much? That's cool. And you can see that it has all the Korean alf Korean consonants. Kanadara wabasa, aza chakata paha, aya o yo u yo u yo u i. I hope you guys like it. You guys deserve it. You guys deserve it. It is a certificate of completion. You guys did it. You guys did it. Oh, <laughs> yay! Graduation exactly of our ten-week Korean challenge. <laughs> uh, you guys, oh, I might cry. No, I feel like crying. No, don't. <laughs> okay, this is awesome. Kim Min's. Kim Min's. You guys, okay, I'll I'll show you this. This screen was amazing too. You guys did it! You guys did it! I'm going to post this on Instagram as well. <laughs> amazing, amazing job. You guys did an amazing job. I am so proud of every single one of you who have finished the 10 week Korean challenge. You guys did amazing. If you completed this, you can do anything in the world. Oh my god, you can accomplish anything else because you have the experience of accomplishing one thing. The 10 week Korean challenge. Good job. Don't cry. So yes. So oh my god. Okay. Can we have a copy of that so we can print it? I will upload it on my Instagram, Jenny the Live and Jenny Korean class so you can download it and you can put your name on it. And if you tag me, I will post it on my story as well. And I hope you guys liked it. Ooh. You will be missed. Let's have some beer and wine. Okay, I like that. <laughs> so please, you guys, stay tuned for... Oh, change the light. So please stay tuned for our K-pop Korean class, lyric class, and K-drama class as well. So please write down in the comment which Korean K-pop song and K-drama you would like to learn. And that will be on the next video. So you guys did an amazing job. Really, I'm so proud of everybody. And okay, I guess that's bye. Oh, and please support me by subscribing and pushing the alert button for the K-pop classes. If you are interested in K-pop and K-drama, don't forget to set the alarm button for the next classes. And please support me by sharing and telling your friends that, oh, I have this really nice Korean teacher. Check it out. She has free Korean classes and she's going to do K-pop classes as well. So check her out. I just Try to promote me, okay? That's your job. And I will prepare for the classes. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I will miss our Sunday class. It is just summer break. <laughs> we support every single time. Thank you so much. It is just summer break. Oh my god. Are you guys normal? You guys are not normal students every student should wish for a break okay why are you guys <laughs> why are you guys asking for more school you guys are weird students <laughs> love you all i will invite my friends who's crazy about k-pop i will like that chris thank you thank you <laughs> love you all Summer break in autumn. <clears throat> it is September. <laughs> oh, we will support you all the way. Oh, thank you. Ouch. 
It has been a pleasure learning in your classes. Thank you. Oh, Vicky. Oh, I remember you, of course. Thank you. Thank you. Mwah. Salamat. Salamat. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Charza. I will see you, see you on Instagram. Jenny the Life. Bye you guys. I really had a good time. I hope you guys like it as well. And I will I will upload this on Instagram. So okay. For the last capture, I want to give it to you. Oh, 주는 거야 되겠다. Okay. <laughs> as if I was as if I was um giving it to you guys. Salamat. Salamat. Malam. Good night. Have a good summer vacation. <laughs>